Ladies and gentlemen, for the next 15 seconds at least, you're watching Fast and Loose. On the show tonight, the Danes hate to see him go. Justin Edwards. Is this a dagger I see before me? No, it's Laura Solon. Over from America to discuss East-West trade initiatives, Wayne Brady. He's banned from seven European countries, Jonathan Mangum. She's still drunk from New Year, Jess Ransom. And he can't even spell his own name, Humphrey Carr. And finally, would you please welcome your host, a man who sounds a lot like me, Hugh Dennis. Yes, hello and welcome to Fast and Loose. Tonight we'll be improvising scenes, sketches and TV spoofs and picking our performers' brains on an array of topics. So let's play Fast and Loose. <laughs> right, let's start with a game called Weak Links and involves Justin, Laura, Humphrey and Wayne. So if you'd like to get yourselves into position, please. This is our version of the BBC's worldwide quiz show phenomenon. I will play the host, who of course is normally the one and only, Anne Robinson. And the rest of you will act as contestants. But to uh, spice things up, we're going to give each of you a character to play. So, uh, Justin, you are an increasingly drunk bride's father. <laughs> Laura, you are a call centre worker. Humphrey, you are Braveheart. <laughs> and Wayne, you are a miracle-working evangelist. <laughs> so... Let's get on with the game. First, let's meet our contestants, and you are? I'm, yes, I'm Justin uh, Edwards. It, uh, it's an abs absolute pleasure. What a, one, what a wonderful day. What a wonderful day we are having so far. <laughs> Thank you, and you? Hello, and my name is Laura. I'm a trained customer service advisor, but I will flag up at this point that service and advice are very different words to help. You, tall man. My name is William Wallace. <laughs> and I don't like you. I don't like you. Fair call. And you, sir? I'm the Reverend Charles Bertenson. <laughs> came to heal you. <laughs> right, let's play Weak Links. What girl's name is the same as stations in London and Manchester? Doesn't, doesn't my daughter, doesn't she look good? Doesn't my daughter look good? She's fun, you would, wouldn't you? You would. I would. <laughs> What L is the main ingredient of the Indian dish, dal? I could answer that, but I have to ask you a security question first. <laughs> what word that means to mutter is the same name as a seaside resort in Wales? Wales. Another country under the jackboot of the English. <laughs> For too long have we, the Celtic fringe, been held back by people asking us questions about things we don't know the answer to. <laughs> well, no longer say I! <laughs> so there! With knobs on! <laughs> Big spiky knobs! <laughs> Sorry. I still don't like you. What is the last letter of the Greek alphabet? I refuse to acknowledge the Greek alphabet <laughs> because the Greek alphabet never helped anybody get up in the morning. The Greek alphabet never helped anybody enjoy the sunlight and walk when they could not walk. Stand up! Stand up and sit down! <laughs> you, sir. <laughs> Which animals build dams and lodges? I pay for every, everything here. <laughs> the terrible tragedy is that well, my wife is here today. <laughs> Were your, the animals that build lodges, masons? Beavers, yes. <laughs> you, girl, which Cluedo character has a military rank? 
You may apply for that answer from our question answering department, Anne, but you will have to fill in a form and send them four different types of ID, including a blood sample and a caricature by a Parisian street artist. <laughs> you, the one I don't like. What is the capital of Iraq? Iraq. They've erracked my arm off, you son of a bitch! <laughs> and why? Because I stood up for my children. And my children's children. And that queen that I have sex with in the film, even though she wasn't born for a hundred years! <laughs> Pushed it over with impunity. <laughs> and you, praying man, what I is the name of the you. thing? I hear him. He can ask me a question. I am more important than him. <laughs> what is the name of the famous racehorse? I beg your pardon, I'll ask that again. <laughs> what was the name of. Oh God, I can't understand that, the way this is written. <laughs> Read. The name of, <laughs> The name of which famous racehorse was the word murder spelt backwards? <laughs> it's not a British question at all. <laughs> Red rum. <laughs> That's the end of the round. And I have randomly decided to get rid of you. Call Center Girl. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Does anyone else think he looks really like the dad in Outnumbered? <laughs> That's it for me. Good night. Right, now performers, it's time to find out a bit more about you for the ladies and gentlemen at home. So if you had to describe yourself in just three words, what would those words be? So, uh, Humphrey? Oh, uh, three words, okay. Uh, Humphrey like ham. <laughs> Jonathan? Not good at math. <laughs> and Justin? Earth, wind and fire. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right, let's move on to a game called Forward Rewind. And this is for Wayne, Jonathan, Jess and Humphrey. So please come on down to our performance area. Now you four are going to improvise a scene, but when I press my rewind or forward buttons, you must repeat the action you've just done, but in the opposite direction. All will become clear. Uh, the scene is that Wayne and Jonathan are Indiana Jones and his sidekick. Uh, breaking into a booby-trapped tomb. Uh, they're going to be joined by Jess as Indy's love interest, and Humphrey, you're a giant, angry zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Who turns up later? I've just got to test my buttons here. I've got two of them. I'm just going to check this is rewind. Rewind. <laughs> and this is forward. Forward. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> OK, off we go. All right, kid, strap on the gear before we get in the Jeep. OK, Indy. <laughs> Let's go. Rewind. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> OK, Indy. All right. Forward. All right. OK, Indy. OK, what? Let's strap on the gear before we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the tomb! Oh. Which direction are we? Forward. <laughs> the tomb! <laughs> oh, Indy, my head hurt. You'll be all right. I hear them coming. They are. Rewind. They are. <laughs> I hear them coming. Oh, my head hurts. You'll be all right. Forward. You'll be all right. 
I hear it coming. You're right. Andy, it's me. <laughs> Thank God you're okay. Reverse. <laughs> Andy, it's me. Hey. Forward. <laughs> Thank God you're okay. Yes. Run! 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 Rewind all the way to the beginning. Okay. Oh. Uh, no, 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 no. Hmm? Oh, thank God you're okay. Uh, Amy, it's me. No, no, it's getting up. My head hurts. Oh. The tomb. Let's go. Okay. Let's put on our gear before we leave. Okay, Indy. Hey, Indy, you gonna kiss a girl? Yes. <laughs> yep. I knew I'd get lucky in London. Right, let's have a break now for a fun fact. Performers, could you please tell me a fun fact about me? Hugh Dennis. <laughs> Hugh Dennis never passes up the chance to demonstrate his tap dancing skills. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid you got that one from Wikipedia. Oh, really? <laughs> um, Wayne. <laughs> that when the dark time comes and all humanity is forced to flee to the stars, we will all gather inside Hugh Dennis and take off from Mars. <laughs> I certainly got a very powerful ass. <laughs> Stage one boosters. <laughs> and uh, Humphrey. Uh, Hugh Dennis was abandoned in Windsor Great Park as a child and raised by swans. 